how did you pick that actor to play you? Or was it hand selected or um, studio pick them? Okay, so we read probably two or three hundred guys to play me, and all of them either went one way or the other. They were either super creeper and like rapey and weird, or like over aggressive, or they were like weepy pussies. And we couldn't find anybody who could kind of be like like a fun, redeemable, likable guy, but also kind of be a little bit of an asshole and have an edge. And Matt just, uh, Matt, Matt was supposed to read the first day, and he didn't come in to read, he skipped his reading. And so after we read like 200 guys and I was doing it, um, I got our casting director, Joseph Middleton, to set up a meeting. And I drove all the way down to Hermosa fucking Beach to convince this dude to come read, and he just fucking nailed it. Okay, I want to hear the story about your favorite lay. Last night, just for the, the novelty of sticking it to the fucking gators, that was kind of cool. Oh, by the way, I should have tell you guys too, I didn't actually write this. When I, 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 I didn't just fuck her on the field, I pulled out and shot the load on the fucking grass. And rubbed it in. So every time you see Tebow dive into the end zone, no, a little piece of me is going on to him. The, the 13th Apostle is gonna wear my sleeve. I wanna ask your advice about butt sex. Listen, if you wanna be gay, that's up to you, I don't care. <laughs> In all seriousness, it's cool for, I guess, a change of pace, like once a month that you get bored of pussy, but there's, like, like they say in Family Guy, vaginal sex is the tops. Are you in fact the devil? And what's it like? Dude, I feel like if I was a devil, I wouldn't have to suffer through all this fucking bullshit. <laughs> um, You're a blue devil, though. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I mean, now I'm gonna win this fuck, fuck you. Was that the actual midget stripper that you fucked? I wish. That was Bridget the Midget, who is the most famous midget porn star ever. And an awesome, awesome woman. She's like a great, she was so fun to have on set, so cool. We did not have, unfortunately we did not have sex. Um, no, uh, but there's a funny story about her. Uh, when she came to set, you know, like a, it's a, it's a real movie, it's not a porn, and uh, shockingly. And so, you know, the actors and actresses love scenes, they don't actually have sex. Well, when the, we were blocking out the um, hookup scene with, with uh, Matt, who plays me and Bridget, we're just like, you know, we're talking about like the, it's called the cock sock that the actors wear and it covers whatever the general. And so we're just like, whatever, you can just slide it in, fuck me, I don't care. <laughs> and I was like, yes, Matt, are you kidding me? And, and he, uh, Matt, he went white as Casper. He was already white, he went translucent. Do you have any advice on how to get a hilarious movie made if you're not, say, a world famous best-selling author? No one gives a fuck about what you've done outside of Hollywood. They don't give a shit. And so, you know, selling a million books or being whatever, this or that, you know, they care if you have made money for them in Hollywood. And if you haven't, it's an uphill battle. And the way we climbed that battle was because we had a great script and I had huge fucking balls and I just made it work. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, like, you gotta be talented and then just work hard and find the right content people. and good work ethic. For the nice girls that you've slept with, how do you categorize them in your phone? Do you have like a list like, sucks good? Likes it in the butt. That is a brilliant question. You can get whatever you want because there is an answer and I know what it is. And if you lie, I will tell you. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. I know what they are categorized by geography. They are they each have a prefix. It's LA, SD, South Carolina, Duke, and C. They there is a list of prefixes. And it the names Half the time the names aren't even... You know the Ludacris song? I got hosed in every area code? Right. I organized by city, and then first name, and then something that like makes me remember them. Like Paul <laughs> lesbian or whatever. Have you ever hooked up with anyone famous? Yes. Next question. How old were you when you lost your virginity? I think I was 16. Love it. <laughs> oh my god. Tucker, can we keep her? Have you ever gotten an STD? No, I've not fucked a ball tech girl yet. <laughs> Do babies count as STDs? Oh, uh, babies count, that's a different question. <laughs> Your books are based on a true story, on your true story, like your life experience, but how much of a spin do you really put on it? You read my book and you're like, that's just like me, right? Right, I'm just a lot better writer than you are. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, that's, that's legitimately the thing that kind of like makes me laugh about all this shit is that like, of my group of friends from law school, uh, there were like eight of us that were just like me. If you met all eight of us out of the bar, you would never know that I was the one who became famous for this. I'm not the best looking, I'm not the funniest, I'm not the best with women. 
I don't have the biggest dick, I'm not the tallest, there's nothing. I'm just the fucking asshole that says, fuck it, I'm gonna be famous for this. I'm gonna roll it all down, man. No, Niels Parker, Tucker Max, let's hear it! Thank you.